I would hope that we could announce in 1992 the beginning of the age of discovery uh, of America. And that part of that's going to mean welcoming back the animals. Uh, when I was a kid in Kansas growing up, there were no deer around. And now I can take a deer every year. Uh, I could shoot a deer on our property every year, have a couple of times. Um, Ten years ago, there were no wild turkeys. Now there are 20 of them roosting in my woods at the south part of the property. Gary Snyder, the poets, talked about bringing back, uh, welcoming back the wild animals. There's now discussion about uh, a, a buffalo commons out on the high plains where the poppers at uh, Rutgers University, uh, they're saying that as the people <laughs> fail at farming, they move out, the government ought to buy the land and turn that into a buffalo commons. Well, I, I don't want to see the people have to leave, I think. But what this begins to suggest is, and a lot of the people in my area, of course, oppose what the poppers have to say. Mm -hmm. Our local congressman, Pat Roberts, said bad things about, uh, you know, these eastern peoples making this kind of a proposal. Uh, but what I think it does is enliven the imagination about our possibilities. And it could be that this is our last best chance to discover America before it's too late. And what I hope is that if we can keep enough of the wildness around, uh, that that discovery can continue. Now, there's a problem. Uh, one is that you know, in Catholicism, there's the saint. You go pray to the saint, you light a candle. You've got this sort of isolation of virtue there in that saint. Then people go in peace, and uh, they think, well, that's covered. Uh, in a certain sense, what we, have, we environmentalists have done is designate wilderness as a saint. Out there. Out there, yeah, the isolation of virtue again, and then we spread atrazine all over the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Now. Either the whole thing is holy or it isn't. Mm -hmm. And that uh, we need to, in our welcoming of the animals back, in our preservation of wilderness, in our preservation of wildness, um, it will be important, probably the population will be very high in 2090, it'll be very important to remember that wilderness is an artifact of civilization. Now, it used to not be that. And it will be important to see it as our source that gave rise to us, that we are now the protector of our own source. It will be important to, to have discovered that and to, to, have, to, to engage in the continuing discovery of the way the wor earth worked before the agricultural revolution, before the uh, industri uh, Industrial Revolution before the high energy epoch uh, and to acknowledge that there is nothing higher 